There are many different methods you can employ to evaluate an activity, intervention or initiative and they can utilise either quantitative or qualitative data. Whilst qualitative methods can describe and interpret the context and outcomes, quantitative methods focus on measurement and prediction. Experimental evaluation methods can use quantitative data to attempt to establish cause and effect. In a random control trial, the effects of one or more interventions are assessed by randomly dividing a research population into an experimental group and a control group. The experimental group and the control group should be similar and only access to the intervention by the experimental group should differ. This allows any impact to be attributed to the intervention. For example, implementing a flipped classroom approach to half a module cohort and a traditional lecture approach for the other. Impact can be measured using a statistical analysis of assessment scores. Although championed as good evaluative methods, robust RCTs are difficult to achieve in educational settings due to the complexity and the ability to ensure comparable groups. There are also associated ethical implications of withholding access to beneficial interventions for the control group. RCTs require a great deal of thought, design and planning and if done well can illuminate what works in a given context. Educators may also want to consider the range of other possibilities for evaluations including realist notions of what works and for whom.